<laughs> well, more bodily functions in the news this morning. The next time you pass gas, make sure no police are around. A man in West Virginia faces assault charges after police say he passed gas and fantasy. The officer. I mean, don't laugh. Oh. <laughs> after the man was already arrested for DUI, <laughs> according to police reports of St. Cruz, I can't even get through this. <laughs> he passed the gas so loudly the officer said it was, quote, very odorous <laughs> and created <laughs> and created contact of an insulting or provoking nature. Mr. Anchorman. See, that wasn't even right. That was, to put that story in there was wrong. That was wrong, man. I didn't even see it when I was looking through the script. He stuck that in there. Very odorous. And Hugh Janus, turning 10. We had mentioned... I'm sorry. What? What? I'm sorry. It's it's one of those it's one of those. Oh, I, I totally felt for it, didn't I? I think it was a trick. I think, was a, I think you're right. I think it was a trick name. I think name. you're right. I think you're right. I think it's one of those. Who asked for that shout out? Who I, asked for it? I, I'm gonna go wait, back and look. Wait, you? <laughs> For it. I'll have to go back and look. Maybe it's legit and I have a sick mind, but that's the way it came across. Uh, hopefully there's not a 10-year-old really with that name out there who, uh, <laughs> wow. There's, apparently they're the most popular creatures right now, this oh, time of year. That, beaver that, breeding. Those little guys are cute and cuddly looking. The beavers I've seen are bigger. And uh, not. Yeah, and, and they don't look as friendly, so <laughs> I, I don't know. Maybe I've seen my beavers in the wrong place. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> yes, weather time. Let's, uh, yeah. Let's, yeah, this afternoon, not too bad. Uh, uh, temperatures in the 50s and 60s. Let's go to the maps. There we go. 56 this afternoon in Tulsa, 62 down toward uh, McAllister. Uh, the next seven days looks pretty rainy uh, for Saturday. Another good chance of rain on Monday. Cold gear uh, for Saturday. You couldn't just take it with weather. <laughs> I can't see him crying. Anyway, anyway, well, today today therapy dogs will be sworn in at the Rogers County Courthouse. They will. We will let you know how they will work to help crime victims and children inside courtrooms. Chipotle trying to help you be a better you out there, okay? New bowls. It's got new bowls that accommodates popular diets. There's a keto bowl, paleo bowl. Whole 30 diet bowls. They all have big rules about what you can eat. Oh, you mean those like the tortillas that they make when you order a bowl and our burrito? Is that what you're talking about? No, you can get a bowl at Chipotle. Just in a little bowl. And the certain ingredients <laughs> go to a certain diet. How do you not know this? I mean, I do, but I'm so confused about what you're talking about right now. They're offering paleo diet friendly bowls. That has nothing to do with burritos. <laughs> Just the stuff that's inside. <laughs> but why would you eat the bowl? You don't eat the in when you have cereal. Do you eat the bowl as well? So what does it matter if it's paleo or not? It's what's in the. It's the ingredients. Oh my gosh! It's the the chicken, the lettuce, those things. What's our weather? Okay. A British man who took on a goat's eye view of the world has been rewarded for his efforts. Because we're all completely trapped inside our own brain and our own perception of the world. I can't make this stuff up. Thomas Thwaites had a set of prosthetic legs built and spent three days living among goats in the Alps. He did it because he, he wanted a simpler life. And he says it was fascinating. A little bizarre, though. The Waits co won an IG Nobel Prize for Biology with another man who tried living as several different animals. <laughs> the IG Nobel Awards. The IG Nobel Awards honor research that may seem bizarre <laughs> or amusing, but actually provokes thought. Kevin <laughs> You guys. <laughs> a 
Russian peasant gave birth naturally to no six, drugs. No drugs at all. 16 sets of twins, seven sets of triplets, wow. and four sets of quadruplets. Gee, How is that even possible? It's crazy. Uh, well, we've already explained the cow chip to you this morning, <laughs> so I don't want to, have to explain anything more. That's true. We'll just, that's just true. leave it at that. She's got quite the uterus. We'll just say that much. <laughs> <laughs> Satellite radar shot this morning. <laughs> You're just saying, I know you, you, I can't believe you said that. <laughs> All right, satellite radar. <laughs> Clear skies. 73. That's what her husband said. <laughs> Too such a hot human. We got to get serious because we got the news to do. Back, <laughs> Natalie. <laughs> oh my! All right. A family's Christmas decorations nearly caused one man a heart attack. Please hold on. All right. Can you reach it? Can you reach it? The man in Austin, Texas, thought. <laughs> This dummy was a real person. <laughs> Nest Cam video shows the man rush over, grab a ladder, and call for help. He even called 911. The family, and the family put up the dummy to pay homage to a, a, a Christmas scene from, uh, from a movie right there. The Griswolds, you right? You know, Christmas vacation. And uh, they are trying to find the man to give him a gift because they say <laughs> it, his heart was in the right place. Now, he felt it. Oh, no. He, felt it. He, said, he, said, he said, can you reach it? Can you reach it? It's got to be a good Samaritan there. It's making me cry, my goodness. <laughs> you, you want him around if you were stuck on the roof one day. Can you reach it? All right. Well, we are... Hoping to reach temperatures like we saw yesterday. It was nice and warm spring like yesterday. Let's check in with meteorologist Karen Mitten in Severe Weather Center, too. Karen. This is great. I love it. Oh, we need more of that laughter. That's great. That guy was.